So welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I'm at Lake Eden. It's 10 past 5, sunset is in about 15 minutes and I think we're going to be in for a ripper of a sunset. We've got high cloud. The only thing that could put a spanner in the works is we've got a bit of thick cloud to the left of us here. If that drifts over a bit, it could spoil the fun. Fingers crossed, let's hope for the best sunset that we've seen so far for a long time. Every time I've been going out for sunset lately, there's either been no clouds in the sky or the clouds have just gone whoosh, whoosh at sunset. So today I'm not using my D500. I want to get out and use my D90 a bit more. So I'm using the D90, I'm using the Nikon 18 to 140 mil lens. Now remember when the D90 came out, it came out with the 18 to 105. When I bought it, it didn't have the 105, it had a 50mm f1.8 lens. The 105 is the predecessor to the 18 to 140. So I'm using the 18 to 140. Gotta make sure that VR is switched off here because if it's not, it'll give me sometimes a little bit of a blurred image. I'm shooting at 18mm as wide as I can get. So for filters, I'm using the Nissi polarizing filter and the Nissi three stop medium grad filter. This is just gonna help me balance out the sky. So my camera settings for today, I'm shooting at f11, aperture priority. My white balance is set to sunny. ISO is set to 200, which on the D90 is the lowest I can go. I'm already just now going to take a couple of test shots because we've still got about 10, let's say 15 minutes, about 10 minutes to go before sunset. I want to make sure that my composition is right. So I'll look for the viewfinder here. I don't want to put the sun right in the middle of the frame. I want to put just to the right of halfway. There's so much thick cloud over here. So I want the hotel, but I don't want to go too far over there because I think the light will be all to the right of here. Now, if the light really starts shining to the left, I will reframe, but for the moment, I'm going to go to the right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on the hotel. There. Now you saw I actually used the switch here. This camera trying to set up back button focus is a pain in the neck. I tried, didn't like it, so I've just gone back to using the shutter button has my focus point. But the D90, like the D7000 series, the D500, has got this little switch on the side here. So now that I'm in focus, I can disconnect focus. I can touch a shutter button all I like, and I'm not going to affect my focus point. This is very important because as it gets darker, I mightn't be able to focus on the hotel properly. Let's take a photo. Now that looks quite dark. What I can do is I can increase the exposure compensation. I'll increase it to 1.3. That's a bit better. So what were my settings first? So my first shot was f11, 1 400th of a second. The next one here is 1 1 600th of a second. A very big difference. This is the problem when you're using aperture priority, shutter priority with filters. It gets dark. So the camera is finding very hard to get the exposure right. Normally, as soon as you put filters on, I tell people, just whack it in manual mode. It is so much easier to control. It's much easier, I find, to shoot in manual mode at this time of the day. During the daytime, not a problem at all. We just shoot in aperture priority or shutter priority if I'm shooting birds. For sunsets and sunrises, I just prefer just to go straight into manual mode. I think that cloud is just looking amazing. 25 past five, about four minutes to sunset. That cloud wedge from the left is just slowly coming across. It still looks like we're going to be in for a nice sunset. Fingers crossed that as the sun goes down over the horizon there, all that cirrus cloud up the top here is just gonna go bang and light up. I'm still on aperture priority. We're gonna take another shot here. That looks really nice. I'm, what I'm seeing here is I'm blown out. I'm gonna look at the RGB highlights. Wow, it's really sort of blaring away there. So I'm gonna bring down the exposure compensation down to 0.7. We'll take another test shot. That looks a little bit better, but still, right where the sun is, there's a little bit of the highlights blown. But I'm gonna tolerate that because if I keep going down until I get no blown highlights, the edges here are gonna be too dark. So this looks really nice. Now I'm gonna go into manual mode. I prefer this right at this time of the day. So now I'm just gonna reset the camera. That's it. So that's telling me 1 13th of a second. Beautiful. My previous setting was 1 15th of a second with 
0.7 exposure compensation increase. Now I'm at 1 13th of a second. In manual mode, exposure compensation doesn't affect your image unless you're using auto ISO. I'm not using auto ISO, so exposure compensation doesn't come into the equation. Looking at my image here, that looks really nice. And what I'm seeing on the back here, because I've set my picture profile to landscape, I've got a very good idea of what I'm actually photographing. If I wanted to just warm the image up a bit, all I do is just click on the WB setting up here. Let's pick cloudy. Wow, look at that. So this is the sunny profile. This is cloudy. Beautiful. This is what I was saying. When you're shooting JPEG, get your white balance correct. Yes, things happen very quickly, but if you take the time, you get used to saying, okay, well, I'm sort of rushing, but I've still got to breathe, take time and saying, okay, well, my white balance is wrong. I'm shooting a JPEG. Let's get my white balance correct. Let's adjust my white balance. What would happen if I went from cloudy to shade? Remember, shade is the warmest setting. That's nice, but for me, that's too warm. But my personal opinion you might say like wow i really like that all the better i can see it's starting to get a little bit dark what about the rgb highlights there's nothing because there's nothing all the dark area there is slightly underexposed so let's bring it back that one eighth of a second should be the correct exposure that's really nice but i'm going to change that white balance i don't like shade we'll go back to cloudy that's much better I like the cloudy because if I look back at the shade, to me it's just too warm. But I know I harp on about, but this is all user preference, just how you like it. Look at it, but it's just beautiful. Can you see the glow on the horizon? Those clouds are just starting to look beautiful. Well, we're just going to take one more photo. It just looked like it was going to be an amazing sunset, but my luck for sunsets at the moment is just not running hot. We'll reset the camera again. Let's see it. We'll come back one fourth of a second. And look at that. There's no highlights. And you can see on the video here, it's just gone bland. That's the problem. You never know. But I would have been kicking myself if I'd stayed home in my office editing a YouTube video and all of a sudden my daughter said like, Dad, look at this. The sky's just lit up. I just had to take the chance. Just like you, I don't have the chances of coming out photographing sunsets all the time. So today I had the chance to be like, okay, it could be a great sunset. I'm going to get out there. Whether it was a good sunset or not, it doesn't matter to me. I would have been really excited if I'd gotten a great sunset, but I'm still out and about. So in closing, here are some of my best shots taken from this afternoon. The first is just a JPEG straight off the camera. The second is the raw file edited in Adobe Lightroom. So thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up, stay safe, enjoy photography, and I'll see you next time.